rules changing again for overseas workers working in Australian mines. Welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters. And in today's video, I just want to give a quick update because there's a lot of people with overseas working visas coming in on the backpacker visa trying to work in the mines. And I just want to give you a quick update that if you are on a six month work limitation, they are changing the rules back again. So you can't work longer than the six months and they've changed it um, so it is in ends in um, the 30th of June 2023. So if you're with your current employer, you can still do an extra six months as long as you're with the current employer before the 30th of June 2023. This is the first indication that I've seen them of putting the rules back to normal, which it looks like they are trying to do at the moment. They haven't as such changed the rules that say that you can't go mining, so they haven't taken it back to just the farming and hospitality like it was before they made the changes but what the ch big change that they have made is bringing it back to you can only do six months moving forward the issue that you've got the people that we find coming in from overseas that have the success are the people that are on the 12 month or longer visas that are coming in from Canada or the new visas that they're going to be issuing from Britain and all the other countries that we have uh, free trade agreements with that have working visa reciprocations they're the best visas to get they're open-ended um, we've people just you know if it's more than 12 months they can extend it out for longer if they want to and if it's all working out so they're the visas that you want to get to get the jobs the people that have come through on those visas that have done our training have all gotten jobs quite successfully it's the people that have got the sh shorter term the work um, the backpacker visas to want a better work term that are having trouble and it's not only because you know they've reduced it back down to six months unfortunately they've had a whole heap of backpackers that have come through in the last 12 months that haven't exactly covered themselves with glory and you know there's examples of them on social media all the time bragging about how they got the job and just telling people that oh you just have to sweet talk the person into it whenever somebody says oh you just have to sweet talk the person into it that to me says that you're telling a, you know you're lying to them in some way shape or form and the one the fundamental rule in Australian mining is is if you get caught out lying about something that's it. They don't want to have anything to do with you. And the problem that most of these people that are having now that are going to these, trying to get these jobs with these backpackers, is that you find that a lot of the people that were the first time around didn't cover themselves in glory and lied to the employers about various things or the employer wasn't sure that they were going to get a short that such a short time out of them. Because if you only get six months out of a person, the onboarding costs for these mine sites, normally it's between 20 and 30 grand. So are you really going to hire somebody when you know you're only going to get six months out of them and spend 20 and 30 grand on them? You know, it's a bit different if you know you're going to get 12 months out of them. You know, you can make a justification for that, especially in the mining industry at the moment. But if you're only going to get six months or less 88 days out of somebody i mean you know it's really it yeah I, I think it's marginal whether it's worth actually hiring that person or not now there are areas of the country that are extremely desperate for people all the big mining towns are extremely desperate for people so you can still try your luck if you want to but the best way that you're going to encourage somebody if you've only got the six months that you can do is to actually learn how the mine works so they can look at you and go oh i can i can throw them in the deep end and that's why we had the the success with the people that we've had come through on the longer visas because all of them learnt how the mine worked and when they did their interviews the employer could look at them and go okay I'm not getting somebody that's going to take me three you know two to three months to get up to speed I'm getting somebody that I can get up to speed in three or four weeks now that's definitely worth it when you're getting somebody for 12 months but if, is it worth it for somebody that you're only going to get for 88 days? That's the question. And I'm not saying that it's not ha that you couldn't can't do it and that it's not happening. I'm just looking at it from the employer's perspective. And I know from the foreman's perspective that they're going to get really, you know, jack of it really quick if they get a whole heap of people that come through that they've trained up and then they got to let go after 88 days that's not going to go down well with anybody so i just wanted to do a video with the update on it all because i know it's very confusing so that's what it looks like it's gone back to just the six months and at that time frame you know it's going to be hit and miss but i would expect that they will put everything back to normal again in the next 12 months so if you're just coming in or you're thinking you're coming over and you're watching this from overseas you know you might have done your dash with the mining stuff by the time you get here you might have to just look at the fruit picking and the hospitality work but 
you know, having said that with the fruit picking, I'd be looking at the harvesting times of the years to come over and jump onto a harvester either in WA or New South Wales or Victoria or even um, harvesting sugarcane up in the um, northern, uh, up in northern Queensland, those sort of things. They pay big money, those jobs. So that's something that I'd be looking at if I was coming in over as a backpacker from overseas because I'm not sure that the mining companies are going to entertain this for much longer, especially, you know, it might look good to HR to get people through the door but the foremans and the project managers aren't going to like spending all this money training somebody up only to see them walk out the door after six months because it does cost a lot of money to train people in these jobs so you know if, you, if you've got a functioning nipper or a, a truck driver and you're only going to get 88 days out of them then you probably see you know 50 to 70 grand worth of training and onboarding and all that sort of stuff walk out the door you know after your 88 days and you know that's something that each employer has to envisage on their own. I only know how the foremans and the project managers from the underground are going to look at that. They're not going to be very happy of it, especially if the people are any good. That's you know, It's not so bad if the people are average and they're walking out the door, but if you've put time into somebody and trained them and they're pretty good at what they do, then it always hurts when you lose them. It's like anything in life. So that's the perspective that the foremans have got. That's the perspective that you know a lot of the... the um, the people that actually work on the mine site have so that's what you're fighting against so i hope that answers your question and if you could share this video around and like and subscribe to the channel thanks